While Yellowstone's volcanoes lie dormant, another major danger lurks. Superheated underground waters capable of erupting with the force of an atomic bomb, Yellowstone National Park is known for its bubbling hot springs and steaming geysers. This hydrothermal wonderland is powered by a cauldron of partially molten rock deep underground. It holds enough boiling magma to build several Mount Everests. The Yellowstone volcano last erupted 70,000 years ago. If it were to erupt again, vast areas could be buried under lava. Most scientists think that's unlikely, at least for the next few thousand years. But there's another serious danger lurking, one that's more sudden and dangerous than lava. To understand its destructive power, it helps to remember what happened a decade ago on Japan's Mount Ontak. On September 27, 2014, the weather was clear and the wind was light. At 11.52 a.m., more than 100 climbers stood on the summit, enjoying snacks and taking pictures. Then trouble struck, and it came without warning. The windows of a nearby hut suddenly shook, shaken by a powerful shockwave, too low for human ears to hear. Then a huge gray cloud billowed from the southwest slope of the mountain. It swept over the summit, blinding people in a swirl of dust. They couldn't see as millions of tons of rock and dust, thrown from the mountain, rained down on them. 63 people died, most were killed by falling debris. But this volcanic eruption wasn't caused by lava or fire. It was powered by water. A pool of underground water suddenly heated up, probably by volcanic gas or magma rising from below. The water boiled into steam almost instantly. As this happened, the water expanded hundreds of times its original volume. It shattered the mountainside, sending rocks flying into the air. This type of steam eruption is called a phreatic eruption. They are triggered by a sudden pulse of heat inside an active volcano. But similar steam eruptions, called hydrothermal eruptions, can also erupt far from an active volcano. Yellowstone is riddled with craters left by these eruptions. There have probably been thousands of them over the past 14,000 years. This includes one massive eruption on July 23rd. It sent rocks flying and tourists running. Then trouble struck, and it came without warning. The windows of a nearby hut suddenly shook, shaken by a powerful shockwave, too low for human ears to hear. Then a huge gray cloud billowed from the southwest slope of the mountain. It swept over the top of the mountain, blinding people in a swirl of dust. They couldn't see as millions of tons of rock and dust, thrown from the mountain, rained down on them. 63 people died, most were killed by falling debris. But this volcanic eruption wasn't caused by lava or fire. It was powered by water. A pool of underground water suddenly heated up, probably by volcanic gases or magma rising from below. The water boiled into steam almost instantly. As this happened, the water expanded to hundreds of times its original volume. This shattered the mountainside, sending rocks flying into the air. This type of steam eruption is called a phreatic eruption. It is triggered by a sudden pulse of heat inside an active volcano. But similar steam eruptions, called hydrothermal eruptions, can also erupt far from an active volcano. Yellowstone is littered with craters left by these eruptions. There have probably been thousands of them over the past 14,000 years. That includes one massive eruption on July 23rd. It sent rocks flying and tourists running. 